How many alien civilizations do you think are out there? <laughs> well, yeah. Zero, one, or many? So if you say civilization, I would bring my number way down. It could be zero. If you talk about life, I think it could be many. As we were saying before, I think the move from life to consciousness, the kinds of beings that would build what we would recognize as a civilization, that may be extraordinarily rare. I hope it's not. You know, as a kid, I love Star Trek. I, I just love the idea that we would be part of some universal community where, look, experience on planet Earth suggests it doesn't always go so well when groups who are separated try to come together and, and live in some larger collective. But again, as an optimist, how amazing would it be to converse with an alien civilization and, and learn what they've figured out about physics and cosmology and, and compare notes and, and, and learn from each other in, in some, some wonderful way? I, I, I love that idea. But if you ask me the likelihood of it, I would err on saying it may be so improbable that the conditions conspire to allow life to move to this place of, of consciousness that it might be rare. It might be oversimplifying things, but just observing the power of the evolutionary process, I tend to believe, and like uh, you read different theories of how we went, uh, how Homo sapiens evolved, it seems like the evolutionary process naturally leads to, to, to Homo sapiens or, or creatures like that or much better than that. So t to me, the there's several scary scenarios. So, uh, okay, the positive scenario is life itself is really difficult. So that origin of life is difficult. That's exciting for many reasons because we might be able to prove that wrong easily in the near term by finding life elsewhere. Sure. The scary thing to me is if uh, uh, life is easy and uh, there's plenty of conscious intelligent civilizations out there and we have not obviously made contact, which means with intelligence and consciousness comes responsibility and uh, ultimately uh, destruction. Yeah. So with power comes great responsibility. And then we end up destroying ourselves. That's the uh, the scariest. The, the positive, I guess, version is that maybe we're being watched. Uh, sort of like there's a transition to where you don't want to ruin uh, the primitive villages out there. And so there's a protective layer around us. Yeah. They're, they're, they're watching.